Colon cancer. Common, deadly, but preventable and treatable. If you know what you're looking for as a future doctor, you'll face this head on. So in the next seven minutes, let's break down everything you need to know to master colon cancer. Colon cancer is the third most common cancer and the second leading cause of cancer death worldwide. In the US alone, over 150,000 people are diagnosed yearly. But here's a kicker. It often starts silently as a tiny polyp. And by the time symptoms show up, it's already late in the ballgame. Bottom line, early detection saves lives. And that's why screening and understanding is everything. Talk about risk factors. Some you can't change, some you can. And here's the breakdown. For non-modifiable risk factors, this is age above 50, family history, especially those with first degree relatives, and then genetic syndrome, which include FAP and Lynch syndrome or HNPCC. Modifiable risk factors are high fat diet, low fiber diet, red and processed meats, smoking, alcohol, obesity, and sedentary lifestyle. So better eat healthy and start working out. One mnemonic that you can use is actually FLASH. Family, lifestyle, age, syndromes, and habits. Let's look at how cancer actually develops in the colon. It starts with a normal colon and then the polyp shows up followed by changes in the polyp that are precancerous and they become dysplastic. Then afterwards, then it becomes cancerous. It starts as a normal mucosa forms an adenomatous polyp with over 10 to 15 years and it may progress to adenocarcinoma. Key mutations to know are APC gene, early hit in FAP, KRAS, which is a progression, and P53, which is a late stage invasion. Microscopy buzzwords are dirty necrosis in glands, invasive glands into submucosa and beyond. Important thing. Most cancers are left-sided, but right-sided tumors are rising, especially in younger patients. So let's actually look at the difference between right-sided and left-sided colon cancer. On the right-sided or ascending colon, you have symptoms of bleeding, which are iron deficiency anemia, occult bleeding, fatigue, vague discomfort, and a mask can sometimes be palpable. On the left side, you could have changes in bowel habit, obstruction, hematochesia, or apple core lesions on imaging. Why the difference? Well, if you think about it, as your stool progresses from the right side to the left side, water is absorbed. And so the liquid succus turns into a solid or semi-solid stool as it progresses. And hence, once you have a lesion on the left side, it's more likely to cause an obstructive symptom. Think of blood on the right side and then problems pooping on the left side. So how do we diagnose it? Well, there's a couple of ways that we can actually screen for it and then actual diagnosis is made by colonoscopy and a tissue diagnosis when we do a biopsy. Screenings include colonoscopy, fit test, or CT colonography. For biopsies, sometimes they are sent for genetic testing, and these are sent for MSI for Lynch syndrome and APC gene for FAP. The diagnosis is confirmed by biopsy via colonoscopy, and CEA is not for diagnosis but for monitoring the disease. So once you have the disease identified, what do you need to do next? Well, before you do anything, you have to stage it. Has it spread or is it local? And can it be resected locally? And that's going to be either endoscopic versus surgical resection. So we use the TNM staging. And the things that we need to know are we have a pre-op CEA level. We have a CAT scan of your chest, abdomen, and pelvis with IV contrast to ensure that there are no metastatic disease because that significantly affects your prognosis and the decision of what to do next. Afterwards, you then decide whether local endoscopic resection for very early disease processes followed by surveillance or proper surgical resection, then restaging depending on the pathology followed by follow-up. For surgery, 
understand that for the right side, it's going to be a right hemicolectomy. For the left side, it's going to be left hemicolectomy. For the rectum, it could be low anterior resection. When it does reach all the way down to your anus, it could be an abdominal perineal resection. We're going to get into those details in a later video. For advanced disease, you have to consider adjuvant therapy, and these are for stage 3 and 4. This includes the Fonfox regimen, which is 5-FU, Lecoverin, and Oxaliplatin. Radiation is considered for rectal cancer. Once the patient is disease-free, then you monitor them with surveillance, which includes your CEA and your colonoscopy, which is performed at 1, 3, and 5 years, and a yearly CAT scan of your chest, abdomen, pelvis for the next 5 years. Fast facts. Lynch syndrome, colon cancer, plus endometrial cancer. FAP, all the polyps, 100% risk by age 40, colectomy is required. Apple coral lesion is a classic sign on barium enema. CEA more than 10 is a poor prognosis. Left-sided obstructive, right-sided bleeding. We've got a mnemonic, which is colon, change in bowel habits, occult bleeding, left versus right, obstruction, and neoplasia risk, which is family and genetics. That's colon cancer simplified, but never dumbed down. Don't forget, like and subscribe, and share with your med school crew. Drop a comment with your next topic, and we're here to make medicine make sense. And we'll see you next time.